Thanks for doing Stockliff here, and welcome back to episode four of College Football Revamped with the Kentucky Wildcats. It's week five. We're both three and zero. We're facing number five Florida. And just real quick before we get in this game, let's go look at the top twenty-five. See where they're at. As you can see, they're coming off a win against number twenty-five ranked Tennessee, and they're they're close to the top four. There's not a college football playoff in this college football revamp at the moment but we're also receiving votes here as you can see so we're not too far off this is a huge game against florida if we can pull this off i'm gonna try my best to go out there we are at home that's our advantage so we'll see what happens glad to have you with us in the studio i'm reese davis bringing you the ea sports ncaa football 14 pregame show presented by nissan innovation that excites the Wildcats are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Okay, so let's see what Kyle Trask and Florida is up to on offense here. They're trying to hit a guy out of the flat immediately, but he doesn't see the ball. Second and 10 here at a shotgun formation. Let's see. And he's wide open. That is Kyle Pitts. He is an NFL prospect that tied in for sure. Okay, third and four here. Just going to buzz the first down line, as I like to say. That looks like a screen play to me. Let's see if we can't get over there and stop him. We do. He's still on his feet. Damian Pierce goes for negative. Okay, this should be a decent return we're looking at here, and we're going to get the ball square at midfield. So a good defensive stop, decent return. Keep it on the ground here. We're going to go HB counter, see if we can get out of this play. Lead blocker there. Yep, just follow him. That's all you can hope for. Hey, a run looks pretty good here nonetheless, but this is going to be a play action. Kind of throw them off early. Underneath, we got him. It's Thomas on the play, nine yards. Easy, uncovered. Another run play here, it looks like I like can get a few. Nope, never mind. Wow. Just, he immediately broke through and just hit Chris Rodriguez as soon as he got the ball. That's unreal. Okay, here we go on second and 11. You're going to hit the flat, and that's going to gain three, third and eight. And we're going to go with a cover three buzz here. Just cut off the first down line. And that is wide open. That's going to be a touchdown. Grimes just uncovered there. Got behind the defense. I definitely want to see this. The safety is just dead. Safety's dead. You've got to be kidding me. I wasn't. I called a fair catch and my own player got tripped up, and now we're starting this drive at the two. Hold on just a second. Calls for a fair catch. Goes off of him, picks it up, gets tackled by his own guy, and he's down. What? what uh, unreal. Unreal sequence of events right there. We are just dealt a very crappy hand to start this game at home, I'll tell you that. We just got to take what we can get. Just going to keep it on the ground here. Block. First down. Just keep moving. Just keep it moving. We're going to give Chris Rodriguez more confidence here in the passing game as well. Just get him involved with a screen. That looks good to me. And he jukes out of bounds backwards. Okay, this is one of the more interesting plays in this playbook. It's a play-action jet sweep here. Nothing, Nothing's open there. Okay, third and seven. We got to get a little bit more room here, I'd imagine. Ollie or rig seems good to me. Hit rig right there. That's good. Perfectly thrown. Huge gain on the play. Perfectly timed throw. Look at this. Just as soon as he broke to the outside, no chance. I'm going to go with another counter play here. Because counters seem to be working unblocked. 
Hello? Number 70, what you doing? Just, just assigned to nobody. Gonna let Chris Rodriguez get clobbered. Third and nine here, double slants with Oliver and Daly. Let's do it. Hey, we got him if we want him. Nope. Max Duffy. Beautiful punt, I'm pretty sure. One yard line. Max Duffy. You know darn well we're sending the house right here to try to get a safety. Come on. Yes! Let's go. Max Duffy sets us up at the one, and we get a safety. That could change the game. Just going to keep it on the ground here again. And pick up a good three on the play. Would you have ever thought that the score would be 7-2 to two at the end of the first quarter? Keep it on the ground again here. Man, not much to go. Going to go to a pretty classic play here with Y Shallow. And I think we have Triangle eventually. I was waiting on Daly out of the slot. We got multiple routes here that could give us a first down on the play for sure. And that is poorly thrown. I thought I had Josh Ali on the inside, and that's going to be a pick. It looked like he was going to break open on the inside there. Florida, first and 10. Going to be a run up the gut. That's almost a first down. Going to commit to the run here. And it's going to be a play action with Kyle Trask, and we just don't tackle him. That's always lovely when you just run right by him. New set of downs for him here. It's going to be to the passing game. They're just going to hit the flats immediately. Kyle Pitts, he's definitely going to be involved. You know he will. Uh, again, I'm going to cheat up just a hair here. They have not dropped under center. So far, he's just going to toss this away. I don't know if he's pressured or what, but fourth and four. They're going to go for a long fill goal here. Let's see what happens. Uh, I'm just going to make sure this isn't a fake. I'm not too concerned of blocking it from this distance. This is long, and... Proof is in the pudding. That's a myth. This has just been a very odd game for sure. They're giving us a stacked look here. I do not like this at all. This looks looks like we might have some pressure. And what do you know? That did not get back to the line of scrimmage. I, yeah, of course. Pass interference is what they're going to call on that. What? That was an absolute Ball gift to get a first down off of that. I thought we were going to have a man wide open off the blitz, though. But nonetheless, let's keep it on the ground. And it's going to get a seven. Number of options here on second and three, but we're just going to pass the ball, it looks like, here. And look who's wide open. It's Chris Rodriguez for an easy first down. We're going to put Daly on a just an up-the-field route here, and they're getting through... We, we just got to throw that away. Oh, he tackled me after I threw it away. These penalties are harsh. First and 10 here, another read option here. And we're going to keep this with Terry get it, bouncing it to the outside. Here he goes. He almost got all the way. 15 yards for Terry Wilson. We've tried to incorporate some more read option for him. And I think, I think it's good. Okay, let's give him a similar pistol look here, except for this time it's going to be a pass. And Upshaw's got it. He's going to gain four on the play, though, get closer and closer to the goal line. It looks like Florida could stop this, but I do like the look here on second goal. Sticking it to the outside, and that's not going anywhere. It looked lo promising for a second. Third and goal here. This is going to be a corner flat. Def definitely looking at Daly. Ali, maybe, Upshaw. I mean, we got some options here. I'm just going to run with Terry. Ah, just, I saw him too late. It was like half defended. Just had to make a decision. And it, how does that miss? We just missed a, a, a sitter. If you look at the air on that, there's no way. This game has everything. We have safeties. We have two missed field goals, a fumble. What else do you want? Good coverage by Square. If you got there a little bit sooner, it could have been picked. But third and five. 
Third and five for Florida here. They're letting the clock tick down. We're not going to call timeouts just in case they get this. But we plan on getting a stop at least, and that is a stop. We're going to call a timeout. Josh Ali breaks it to the outside, and look at this. We have good field position. Josh Ali, 36-yard return. we got a minute left. This game is weird. Got a rollout smash here with Josh Ali going against the grain. And I don't – I see R1, but we're just going to run it. We still have two timeouts to go with this as well. So we'll see what we can get out of this. Wide open over the middle. There's Rig. Just going to go ahead and call it. Okay, here we go. Slants over the middle. Upshaw going up the middle. And there's underneath from Rig. Rig is in for the touchdown. Barely. Okay, so we're going to go for two because I like to go for two early in these kind of situations just to let us know where we're at. And that... Could have been open, but at least we got a lead out of the first half. That is strange. Okay, is Florida going to try to push the issue and try to get some first downs here? That is the question. We'll just kind of play in between here. That's a good pass to start. Okay, new set of downs, 39 seconds left. Again, just going to get out of bounds, second and one. They call a timeout, though, so I don't think they got out of bounds. Gonna toss it. That should be picked. Come on, you gotta grab that, Kelvin Joseph. Okay, now this looks like more of a run. I'm gonna cheat up just a hair. This could burn us here. And we get a stop, fourth and inches. I think I'm just gonna let it go to half. Okay, well, Florida's gonna go for this on fourth and inches for some reason. Don't ask me why. We are selling out to the run. No, not a run. Tackle him. Wow, they got the first down. They went for it. They're going to run the hurry up here. See what they can get out of it. Almost picked off again, Kelvin Joseph. Okay, shotgun formation here. They're just going to hand it off. No. Uh, no. No. I was playing the most standard defense possible. They hand the football off. You can't allow that to happen. How... This has been one of the most absurd games I've ever played of football on a video game. D just a absolutely bizarre game. Let's see what the second half holds in store for us. As Pierce is going to get nine yards on the play. Read option time. Let's see if we can't tackle him. Yep, we stopped him. Third and one. Let's do it again. Okay, here we go again. Third and one. He's going to break it to the outside and just get the first down to extend the drive. Okay, Florida again. This time, just a quick dump off past the pits, and I think that's a face mask. And it is. Okay, we, we've got to get this stop here. Something. Something's got to come out of this. A good deflection, at least. Okay, another second and ten here for Florida. Quick hitter, and that's perfectly blocked. They're going to get the first down out of it. Oh, a read option on first down. Kyle Trask is going to get in. Hadn't run it the whole game. Kyle Trask finally uses his feet for once. Okay, so we got to get something going on this drive at least. And one guy was unblocked there, and it's going to result in six. Could have been more, in my opinion. Got a double slants over there with Upshaw. That is That was just an inaccurate throw by Terry. I was going to dump that off underneath. It should have been open right here. That's just an inaccurate toss. I hit square on that one. It's just a terrible time for an interception. Okay, now we really have to depend on our defense here to get a stop. And I saw it, but you just can't react fast enough. Okay, no, nobody in the backfield, it looks like, here. And that is complete. What a catch. Oh, man. Listen, I think I think you just got to say this is going to be a run. See what you can do against it. Yep. 
Listen, Kyle Trask, you're going to have to throw the football. Okay, now I don't know if I want him to throw the football as much. Let me kind of make a, a defensive read option here and see if he's going to throw the ball or not with Riot and then back up. Yep, he's going to throw it. He's going to dump it off over the middle of the pits, and he's down at the one. He's going to keep it. I saw it. Just could not, for the life of me, get suctioned onto him. Just, oh man, I felt like I had him. I saw it. I don't know if we have enough time to stay with the ground game. That's my main concern. But with plays like that, it's hard. I mean, we have to go through the air here. It's, it's a, basically a necessity. I see him, and Josh Ali drops the football. Okay, third and 14 here. That's pressure in our face. Didn't have enough time to set my feet. Okay, defense is on the field again. I don't like how they're basically getting worn out here, but there's not much else we can do. And I think that's just prime example, getting beat in the trenches. Okay, let's see what happens with a new fresh set of downs here for Florida. I can't believe they gained positive yardage on that play. I, d I don't understand what's happening today. Okay, second and six, play act. Again, I don't understand how you're not getting off your block to make that tackle. Like, it's, it seems so obvious. Okay, third and five here. I think they're going to pass the ball, but that does not mean we can't pressure the quarterback. And look at that. We pressure the quarterback, and he has to throw it out of bounds. No time to make a decision. Okay, second and ten here. Ali over the middle. We had it for a second. Had to throw it. Okay, so this is going to be a tricky play here. Let's see. I think. There we go. And there we go. The triple option coming out for a gain of five. And it's tipped at the line and almost picked off. Wouldn't that have been something? Okay, third and five here. Barely going to get the first down there. That was a perfect play for it, but probably get one more playoff to start the third here. We're just going to put Daly on a streak, and let's see what he can do. Uh, he's kind of there. Let's just over the top and see if Terry can get it there. He can't. Okay, we got double slants going to the right rig up the middle to take any safeties with him. Yep, clears it out for Ali. Perfect. Okay, I don't even know what you call this play. I'm kind of just freestyling at this point, to be honest with you. But that doesn't matter. As long as we keep getting first downs, we got to keep trying. First and ten here. Let's see. Felt like I had to throw that immediately. I was kind of under pressure here. Second and three. Okay, here we go. He's open. A bad pass, though, but a first down. Man, that's got to be more accurate. That could have been a touchdown. We've been passing the ball this whole drive. Let's put it on the ground right here and see what happens. And yeah, that's going to be a touchdown, Chris Rodriguez. Let's go. Just one play at a time. A turnover here could completely change the game. Empty backfield. He's open. Can't stick with him. That's it's an NFL prospect right there. I'd like to imagine at some point Florida's going to want to run the ball. I've just got to put pressure on the quarterback, pressure on the pressure on everybody. He's just... Tosses this one outside. How does he know? Third and five here. Let's see what they do. It's possible they run they run the ball, especially with a man in motion, but we'll see. Now it's going to be a pass to the outside. Get there, and it's just short. Will they go for this? Just going to watch for a fake because you never know. This time it's up, and it is good, actually. So it's 31-15. So we are going to kind of need a miracle here. We're going to have to basically score and get two two-point conversions out of this. Um, let's see. Since the clock isn't... I want, I want an audible upshaw into that and see... Just see if he can get past this guy. I'm going to roll out. We got square. If you can throw it accurately, he cannot. And it looks like Terry Wilson has been injured after that play... So that means Bo Allen is now in the game because he's set to our backup quarterback here. We basically... I mean, it's open. They got to take it. 
We basically lost the ability to run the football, so it's time to throw. Okay, so we're just going to try to get Bo Allen a quick screen play, get him involved, throwing the football at least. Good so far. Okay, second and ten here. Bo Allen fits one in. That's an impressive throw from Bo Allen. Look at this. Just steps back, cool, calm, and collected in the pocket. Sees him and fits it right in there. All right, so third and 13, this might seem odd to go to a screen play, but we're really just trying to set up a short fourth down or possibly get the first down here. He just gets it away, but at least it's manageable fourth and seven. All right, they just put Terry Wilson back in the game for us. I guess he's ready to go. He says, I'm not losing this game. It's fourth and seven. Just calm, cool, collected. Terry Wilson gets the first down. Okay, so now Terry Wilson back in the game. What can he do to ease this situation? That is open over the middle. And he, I don't know what just happened there. Okay, third and goal here. And we have date. He broke open, but he went the wrong direction. He just stops on the play. You can't do that in that situation. And third and one here. We're just going to have to call a timeout. I mean, we just have to assume they're going to run the ball. That's, that's it. I mean, we have to try. And he just throws it in the dirt. Okay. Somehow, this game is not over. I don't really understand how, but it's still technically not. But we're going to have to get moving quickly. They're going to blitz. That's got to be... Come on. you got to gain separation. Third and four here. Just hit that. He could have had that, I thought. Okay, fourth and four here, I think. I think we have to get the first down here. I see it. Oliver keeps the drive alive. Let's go. First down. As long as we get first downs, the clock's going to keep ticking here. So let's just try to keep keep at it. Or get out of bounds or first down. Terry here. That'll be fine too. Okay, here we go. First and 10. We're in a decent spot here. I just got to hit him on the run. Oh, gosh. Get out of bounds. Yep. Looks like we can almost run this, and it backs off just a hair. Terry is in for the touchdown. We got to go for two. Okay, this is going to be a rollout right type of play. Whoever's open, got to hit somebody. Rig is in. We have a chance. I just had to throw that. I saw someone else over the middle just panic because I had to get rid of it. Going to go for the onside kick. And it's right to Grimes. That could have bounced off him just as easy. That's going to do it for this one against Florida. Just an absolutely bizarre game all around. So many turnovers. So many random plays. Hopefully we can get back to normalcy next week. I just strongly dislike playing in that one. But this is not the last time we'll see them. We'll see them either next season, future seasons for sure. Okay, so quickly through some player stats here. Bo Allen actually got to play a little bit. Terry Wilson, four picks, not great, but he was asked to literally throw the ball every single down to start this fourth quarter. And then you have Kyle Trask, who only had 209 yards throwing, but did his job. I'm sure he, if we go to rushing, he'll be there as well. Pierce, 115 yards on the ground. Trask had 57 himself. For ourselves, though, Rodriguez with 46, Wilson with 42, and that involves touchdowns for both, and then Bo Allen on the board as well. In terms of receiving for us, Rig had a crazy day. Rodriguez was involved out of the backfield. Ali involved. Like, passing game was definitely more involved and definitely liked it despite the turnovers. On Florida's side, they didn't really have much of a game running or throwing wise. Is more of a run effort for them. And, yeah, it's a tough one. Okay, so as far as the uh, head coach skill tree is concerned, we're going to focus pretty much all towards 
recruiting here. And we're just going to try to even things up and just go scouting and locksmith all the way for the rest of the way. Okay, so here we are in the recruiting board, and there's definitely some shakeups here. I've had to get rid of multiple quarterbacks. I'm more or less just trying to scout, like, the lower-rated quarterbacks to see where they move towards now, like, see if they move up from a significant overall. So I'm not going to really invest so many points into those at the moment. Brian Gay, I don't think we're going to pursue him any longer. Uh, I'm just showing you this. Just going to go ahead and take him off the screen. Howard Morris is in the lead for us, obviously, but I found Eric Hughes and Kenny Bowie, or Bowie, and I've scouted them at 50%, and their overalls have jumped up to close to what Brian Gay's was, so I feel like if we can double up on both of these running backs here and either get one or get both, that would be fine, especially since they're not heavily scouted either. Three and four-star prospects. No fullbacks. I've dwindled the wide receivers down to Corey Bell and Gary Smith. Corey Bell, his scouting looks very good. He's actually jumped up in overall, has pretty good speed. Gary Smith, pretty solid stats as well. For tight end, this is the part that kind of upset me. I just don't see the point in going after Wiley Cooper anymore when a guy like Jay Harris is not being as heavily scouted and he could actually be better than this guy. So, I mean, look at... Jay Harris. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of Wiley Cooper. When it comes to tackles, uh, Willie Young. We'll go ahead and put some more points into Willie Young as well. But uh, as you can see here, very good overall increase from Willie Young. And Jimmy Walker as well, staying neutral. He is a Juco, but still very, very good prospect at an 80 overall for sure six foot eight as well you can't tell me that wouldn't be useful guard kirk wall still leading the way don't, no need to put points into him at the moment center we're just i think we're going to be out on demetrius barry here and look for another prospect we already have dallas houston that we need him absolutely uh for defensive end chris martinez and marquez phillips both and if you look at scouting they're both a little bit better than expected, it seems like. Now, when it comes to defensive tackle, we, we've got to try to find someone. Danny Harris is looking interesting. We already have Jonathan Clifford. But as you can see, Danny Harris has been increasing his overall every single time we scout him. So he might be better than what that 68 is. we got to scout him a little bit harder. And for outside linebacker, Jamal Flynn is who I want. We're going to try to keep it that way. His overall just seems to be skyrocketing every single time I scout him as well so definitely someone I want middle linebacker Derek West Ryan Sims is someone I've added simply because if you look at the scouting he's increased by a decent amount corner I think it's going to be Jeremy Turner from what I've scouted out of these two I mean he went up in overall it's it's a solid overall regardless when it comes to free safety, I'm not out on this guy just yet. Darius Brown is still someone we can maybe snag away, considering you have two people fighting over him. I, I don't know. It's it's rough, but he is very good. A very good prospect, for sure, and I'd want to pursue that. And we have Jonathan Bennett, who's kind of losing overalls, and Jordan Johnson gaining overalls so far. So we'll see what happens there. Kicker, this is another interesting thing that we can do. Eric Jackson currently has the lead for us, despite even uh, having another one here. But Eric Jackson, it looks like, is the better kicker regardless. But we are going to scout him, see where he's at. Punter, we're in the lead on Josh Andrews, but he is going down. And so is Quentin Bryant. We're actually going to get rid of Quentin Bryant. And Joe Whitehead, someone I'm scouting currently. Uh, it says I have no points to scout, but we'll get around to that next time. Where Josh Andrews is just falling, I'd rather have someone a little bit better. And then, of course, we have Spencer Berry, who's just a beast. We'll see next scouting report on him. But there you go. Our next game is against South Carolina for Week 6, Episode 5. I'm looking forward to it. hope you guys have enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.